was got it for Cool too low, dodge potholes. That show girl on the low. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Naya, aka Tiny Dreams. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. Y'all, I don't know if you noticed, but I don't have my ring light on. I am deciding to just use natural lighting for once. So, you know, let me know how y'all like that because honestly, it doesn't look bad to me. But then again, it's like I'm so used to turning on this ring light. If you're new here, all I ask is that you subscribe if you want to, of course. And if you're not new here, welcome back, fam. Y'all, I don't know. I don't know why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling, but I just wanted to be blunt and honest with you guys because I feel like you deserve it. Even though there is 28 of you, who knows? Maybe three of you may care. Maybe two of you may care. Maybe none of you may care, but I'm just going to put it out there because I'm human and I feel like we go through things. I wanted to do a mukbang with my leftover Applebee's, but y'all, I did not like it for one. My dad has a TV like on 110 or something because he's listening to something about Trump I don't know what it is but he and our Carmelo's and our Carmelo's talking every time I film he wants to talk as I was saying I just wanted to come on here and really be blunt and honest with you guys about what's going on with me like an update a life update with me i guess but this is what's going on y'all for one sis is stressed i am stressed i feel like i am thinking too much lately i've been thinking a lot lately and it's like i really need to calm down i feel like when the season changes my mood changes when the weather gets colder i feel different like i don't feel as energetic as i usually am the sun is going down way too early last year it was going down at around five o'clock now the sun sets at like four something feels like i'm missing two hours of the sun that i need when i want to do vlogmas however i'm trying to really plan out how i'm going to do it because i don't want to put out no half effort content i want to put my all into what i'm doing well, i don't only do youtube i do have a job aside from this i'm getting nervous because i don't know if i'm really going to be able to to deliver the content that I want to deliver to you guys the the, con the, the, the the content that you guys truly deserve when you reach a certain age and some of y'all may be thinking like girl you got a lot of time I know everyone goes through this me I'm 21 and so I feel like I'm running out of time to figure out my life and to just figure out what the next step would be you know I'm always focusing on what the next step is and I feel like it prevents me from living in the now and I don't really like that about myself I feel like I'm going to use this whole comments before this video ends and I'm nervous about that. I be wondering, am I where I'm supposed to be right now? Am I doing enough right now? Like, is what I'm doing right now going to pay off in the end? I don't like to waste time. Time is very precious to me and I feel like I want to make sure I'm doing the right things with my time. I want to make sure that whatever I'm investing my time in is going to actually help me in the long run. You get what I'm saying? I don't like the in the winter season it just brings me down it just makes me not want to get out of bed for one little things that should be easy for me to do i find it difficult to do around this time like i just want to be curled up in my bed under my blanket my job right now i don't really want to go one i know i'm gonna freeze two i know that i'm not going to be enjoying what i'm doing i don't um i feel like I have to drag myself to go and like I know I need to go because you know you need to make money you need to be working caught it y'all I noticed in some of my previous videos I hear police siren and I don't notice while I'm recording but once I upload the video I see I see I hear I what is this a phone I hear the police sirens and now I just caught it now so sorry but I guess every single video y'all see you just gonna hear police siren I forgot what I was saying oh yeah I have to drag myself to go and I know I shouldn't have to drag myself to go because some people are out here struggling to find a job some people are out here struggling to just make ends meet and praying that they find something no matter what it is and I feel like it's two chips on my shoulders like part of me feels guilty and then the other part of me is just like you know what well, that's how you feel you're entitled to feel how you feel 
I just never want to seem like I'm ungrateful because things can be a lot worse for me and I feel like certain situations humble you to realize that you know you can have something one day and lose it the next so I try to like have that in the back of my mind when I'm on my way to work but once I get there it's just like damn I gotta deal with this today I gotta deal with this tomorrow this is something I really enjoy doing so I feel like this doesn't even feel like a job to me I consider it a job because it's like you know you gotta film you gotta edit you gotta find music you got to make your thumbnail you got to do all of these things and it, it's like a job it is a job but I don't want to call it a job because then I feel like it would take away the fun out of it and really the passion overall but I don't think I would lose the passion for this because I really enjoy doing this yeah you know that's just how I feel today I went to go get my eyes checked doc said my eyesight is getting better but yet I'm still getting a new pair of glasses. But I'm excited because it's going to be royal blue and I'm super stoked for that. Yesterday I went to the dentist. I asked her about a whitening treatment and sis told me that in the office it is $600. Come again? $600. $600 that I do not have because Christmas is coming and... I have to give people presents and I want to get myself things too like there's a lot of things I want to do and I just don't have time to do a whitening treatment or bleaching but the take-home tray she said was 300 and I didn't really think of having an anxiety attack because it's just like okay that's not bad it's four trays but she said that some people don't make it through all four trays because their teeth get really sensitive that kind of Stirred me away from that because I don't want to spend $300 to not be able to make it past the fourth tray. You know what I'm saying? I want to make it past the fourth tray. I don't want to spend $300 and then my teeth get super sensitive to where I can't even bite my food. I don't want to go through that. Um, so yeah, I'm really trying to find ways to whiten these teeth because I do this and I can be a little insecure about that but I'm working on it I don't know she was telling me like some people have whiter teeth than others it's hereditary it depends on your gene pool it depends on your genetics it kind of made me feel discouraged but that is something I think I'm going to invest in and I'm going to do not now however so I'm not super like embarrassed I feel like if you want to change something about yourself if there's something you don't like about yourself you do have the power to change it some things may be a little more costly than others but it's like whatever you can afford to do and you want to do it and it'll make you feel better hey do it because at the end of the day it's you you're doing it for you and nobody else because you're stuck with you you have to deal with you you're with you 24 7 and it's like you want to feel good about yourself you know what i'm saying i want to feel good about myself i'm gonna be doing that someday but i do expect to do it sometime next year if i don't do it within the remainder of what this year holds i feel like i'm all over the place with this video but honestly i just felt like hey let me do an update real quick because i gotta go to work in like two hours i didn't want to leave y'all hanging because i do want to upload every week and i know i said i don't want to put out no half effort content but i feel like a life update is not half effort because it does take a lot to come up on the camera and say how you're feeling and talk about what's bothering you and stuff like that some people like to keep it to themselves but I personally feel like if you're telling people how you feel, it does kind of help them, you know, understand like where you are mentally and emotionally and how you're feeling and stuff. Is there anything I want to say else? Say else. I need to go to sleep, y'all. I think that's about it. I think I spilled all the tea and laid out all the beans. So... I'm going to end this video right here, y'all. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. I'm thinking about putting on that wig sometime next month so be expecting to see that on my head now I'm not getting my hair braided I'm probably gonna just you know pull my twist back so tight that it's like I got cornrows and then slap that wig on even if my twist is showing in the back super to the back Put the hair to the front, throw on a little beanie because this is not laying that wig down, okay? If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up.
subscribe if you haven't already that's if you want to of course also before you leave this video comment down below what you want to see next y'all i know i literally have five videos out but i'm literally like running out of ideas like it's unbelievable because i have so many ideas for vlogmas and that's 25 days worth of content y'all i need y'all to understand how much content 25 days really takes up as i will see you in my next video